to it. Let's just recap what the changes are. So forget about the group stage and the groups of four that you remember from before. This is now one big league table with all the clubs in it. Each team plays eight games, four home, four away against eight different opponents. The top eight will call, uh, qualify directly for the last 16 in the knockout stage. And then the 16 teams below them will have a two-legged playoff to join them in that round of 16. And then the next 12, down at the bottom, they are out of European competition. There will be no Europa League safety net. So there, Brian. Uh, we've known it's been coming. We've kind of talked about it here and there uh, at moments in the last couple of years. Um, will it take a while to get our, our heads around it a bit? Or are you, you happy you have your, well, your I understanding think, of I it? I think we've been studying it for a while, so we understand the, the system um, for the general kind of person who likes to drop in and drop out of Champions League football, they might take a bit of time. But I think when that table comes up after a couple of rounds, it'll, it'll look interesting to people to see 36 table league. Um, I, I, don't, it's, I don't think it's, it's, it's not a super league the, the way that some of the super clubs would have liked to have it because if they had their way, there would only be the top four or five from the five main leagues in Europe. I don't think the likes of Dynamo Zagreb or Salzburg or uh, Monaco, or maybe Monaco might be in, I doubt it, Brest, teams like that mm. certainly wouldn't be wouldn't be in it. And some of the teams they were playing tonight, young boys might, be, and Aston Villa probably wouldn't be in it either. So it's, I think it could, it could be very interesting. I'm sure UEFA took a lot of advice and there was a lot of weighing up of how they could go this road and find a system that will make more of the matches interesting to the ends of groups. There's a company called Hypercube who advised you for, we were talking to them in relation to League of Ireland and getting it in all Island League in place and they were very, very good on working out the parameters and mm. what works to make competitions interesting to the last game. Isn't that the point, Damien, that like most of the experts and they, they've run the, the odds on this expect the same sort of few clubs to be contending at the end of it. So it's about making it more entertaining and compelling along the way. Yeah, absolutely. And and I, I, I'd be inclined to trust you on this, that the Champions League is the most lucrative, biggest premier club competition in the world. Um, and it's too valuable for them just to take a leap or a wild stab. The boffins behind the scene will have been running the simulators. They have to have been to figure out what is the best, most entertaining outcome. They don't make mistakes. I'd be highly surprised if they did. So I'm willing to trust it. I'm going to go with it. We got more games, get more clubs. Um, I think it's going to be brilliant. Go with trust the boffins. That's that's the message from, from Damien <laughs> this <laughs> evening. Just the players would be worn out. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. About the that's another point.